फिर व्हाट इज सब्जेक्ट टुडे राधे राधे गुरुदेव द सब्जेक्ट टुडे इज द अबाउट हाउ वी आर ऑल सो लकी बिकॉज़ वी कैन लिसन दिस वेरी रिलेशेबल vilapa kusmanjali this very precious uh, verses of raghunath das goswami and we can listen how shimati is subage very beautiful and very fortunate yeah and also we have again questions and answers so yeah. the devotees are always invited to ask anything they would like to ask in between or in the beginning or at the end because we want to have sharing we we want to keep it alive we want to be in touch with all the devotees yeah praise me by yananda maharaj is also there i will request him to some answers give the questions what they desire to yes okay so i start with the verse o yes. subage beautiful fortunate girl will this person one day worship your neck which attained all good fortune when it was touched by krishna the moon of gokula during the festival of the rasa dance with a grivea ornament oh subage beautiful fortunate girl will this person one day worship your neck which attained all good fortune when it was touched by krishna the moon of gokula during the festival of the rasa dance with a grivea ornament yeah. wow. In his varupa way Sri Raghunath serves Swamini according to his or her feelings. Each verse of this book is filled with his eager yearning for her devotional service. And this yearning for the beloved deity is called prem. Yeah. See, the eagerness of the service, what you like, that is devotion. Devotion means to know what you like and what I can serve you. Hmm. read from beginning again this after part this loka in his swarupa vesh his spiritual existence shri ragunath serves swamini according to his or her feelings his and her feeling is who is is i don't understand it she is in sarupa ve sina yes where he come i don't know good if maybe the the vote who was translating is what want to write his and her because of his uh, understanding but actually i agree completely when he is in his varupa vesh then is no more his he is completely 
Tulsi Manjari or Rati Manjari. No more Raguna Das Goswami is there. Yes, but also same time. So his means maybe Sadaka Besh. Because sometimes he's in the Swarpa Besh. Sometimes Swarpa Besh, you know, sometimes vision disappear. And then come back in Swarpa Besh sometimes. So at that time, feeling also <laughs> kind of, you know, suddenly vision disappear. Then he's feeling sometimes more deep. That's we may, we may <laughs> say. Right. Then I agree. Because when he comes in southern ways, then he is possible. When he is in Siddha Deha, he can, you cannot say he is. No. Or maybe this can also pass through Hara and his for Radha and Krishna. But this is a right, very nice to to clear it. <laughs> Which is is coming? He come in sadhak ways. Uh, his hand and his his what? What is the meaning? Maybe he will define more. Mm. Yeah. Each verse of this book is filled with his eager yearning for her devotional service. And this yearning for the beloved deity is called Prem. Yeah. Tarun Baba is there in that curtain. Today or not? Tarun Baba is there or not? No, I don't Dev. know who Dev. He's not there. Okay. Sri Radha. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sri Raghunath Das lives in the kingdom of Mahabhav. Therefore, Na his strong. Uh the name when comes is in Sadhak Vesh. <clears throat> when Raghunath Das name comes in Sadhak Vesh. Yes. So, Jananda Maharaj said, it's also possible because he's living in the bar. In Mahabhav feeling. So he's also can pass. To reach to the Siddha Deha, also Sadhak Deha, Sadhana is important. In Sadhak Deha also we have to very close with uh, Mahabhava. And when we can be close, when we are in Bhava. In feelings, then we can go for highest feelings. So in Sada ways, he also live in the feelings. Huh. Right, Yananda Maharaj? Huh? Yes, Gurudev.
Shri Raghunath Das lives in the kingdom of Mahabhav. Therefore, his strong yearning causes him to experience the divine pastimes and his personal service in his Siddha Swarup. Yeah. This is the way of our sadhana. Is this way acharyas are teaching us? The armlets have been placed. Not let last last service was to put the angada. They have been placed, and now Tulasi will place the Graivea ornament, which is hung around the neck and which hangs like a triangle on the chest. Raghunath then remembers the Rasa dance. and says, Oh, Subhagi, beautiful, fortunate girl, will this person one day worship your neck, which attained all good fortune when it was touched by Krishna, the moon of Gokula, during the festival of the Rasa dance, And will I worship your neck with putting on your Graivea ornament? There are many instruments played during the Rasa dance, but the most important ones, the most important instruments are the Bheri drum of Sri Krishna's tasteful cleverness and the Dundupi drum of Sri Radhika's good fortune. All glories to the Rasa Leela in which the Bheri drum of Hari is cleverness and the Dundubi drum of Radha's fortune are always united. The extraordinary fortune of Sri Radha is announced within the assembly of millions of gopis that come to dance the Maharas with Krishna. Through the Rasa dance, the world could know that the other gopis are actually meant only to increase Krishna's enjoyment with Radha. They are only the instrument of their mutual enjoyment. This is one verse cited from Chaitanya Chaitamrita Adi 4. Without Please. Radha, the gopis cannot make Krishna Gita. happy. What read that? Yes, Gurudev, what? Slow read. Slow. Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Chaitanya Chaitamrita. It's slow, what is mentioned there? Yes, that is uh, Radha Saha Krida Rasa Briti Rakaran. Ara sap gopi gan rasopakaran. The other gopis are actually meant only to increase Krishna's enjoyment with Radha. They are only the instruments of their mutual enjoyment. Without Radha, 
Krishna does not enjoy the rasa dance. Anything is happening is in the mellow. You see the two drums are there. One is a Krishna drum. What is that? What is the name of that drum? Bheri drum. Bheri. And this, what is the Radhika drum? Dundubi. Dundubi. So there are two drum players. They are also in the mellow. Na? So like we are sitting and listening, sharing. We are if in, we are in that we are drum and we are in the same mellow, we will relish it. You know, we will enjoy it. And our Mallows are different, we will never enjoy it. This Dumdavi drum and Krishna group were very drum. If you are Krishna devotee or Radha devotee, which area, but both have to be in the mellow, that enjoyment will come. If you want to enjoy Maharas, then this mellow has to be one. We are like a drum, right? And then go on with the gopis, who is the expansion of the Radhika. They also in the mellow to give the pleasure to both of them. Right. Read this line again. The other gopis are actually meant only to increase Krishna's enjoyment with Radha. You see? They are only the instruments of their mutual enjoyment. Yeah. The only one point is that how they are happy. Now they can be happy. So they have to be in one mellow to be happy. If we are sitting and listening, if we are, if all are following what you are talking, same mellow and the same feeling, all they have to enjoy it. And what is meaning of enjoy? Enjoy who is enjoy? Krishna is there. In enjoy is only Krishna. He is the enjoyer. And we create the circumstances that he has to come there. If the mando is in tuning. Yes. And the manjaris are always in mellow of her family. And who like Krishna, like a gopis, today they are also in this mellow to give the happiness to the Dundavi drum and Krishna. Very drum. Very drum. All are in one flow. You see the Kirtan we do, if all are in the one mellow, it's too much rasa coming. And why rasa is coming? Because Krishna appears there. And 
feeling are coming and Rasa is coming. Radha appears and Krishna appears there. So, in Siddha there, we can relate more to be in Manu. Say that. Jai. So, so every word is a full of meaning that I want to share that. So. Without Radha, the gopis cannot make Krishna happy. You see? Gopis alone cannot make happy without Radha. Because she is Mahabhav. Without Mahabhav, highest feeling Krishna never becomes happy. Rasa not coming. Rasa comes only when Mahabhav is there. There is no difference between the Mahabhav with the highest feeling and Radhika. And there is no difference between the enjoyer or Rasa is Krishna for the Krishna. He is the Adi Purusham, Krishna. What is the song? Mahab Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. Adi Purusham. This is Adi Purusha, is the main joy. And without Mahabha, Enjoy. Small feeling cannot be attracted to her, to him. Sorry. It's so divine. It's so divine. How deep you go, you realize it. So, good if is it right to say that by the mercy of Shrimati Radhika, we can become also enjoyable because we give up our enjoying nature, but we become in tuned with her nature to make Krishna enjoy. Through her. If I want to enjoy with Krishna, because he is the enjoyer, then we have become sati. And when we keep the center to Mahabha, and we are giving this to to come first to Radha Rani, then we are Manjari. And we are what we give the mallow to keep our tuning with that, then is a Manjari bound. That is for her service to the praise of Krishna. Jai Ho Gurudev, this is really our service. That's the beauty. 
So anybody who would like to read this in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, these two verses are in Adi Lila 4, 127 and 218. Yeah, I'm no, not now, Gurdiv. We reading them. I just want to give for the studies later on if somebody wants to read again. You want to read this now from Chaitanya? Chaitamrita Gurdiv. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh. Actually, this bus number is not uh, correct. Achala? Yeah. This two one eight is correct. Two one eight, yes. Without Radha, the gopis cannot make Krishna happier, and without Radha, Krishna does not enjoy the rasa dance. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, that true. Tahavina rasa lila nahi bai chiti. Tanhabinu sukahetu nahi gopi gana. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is not, uh, this is, yeah, this is Prabhupada translation, without her, without Radharani, the gopi cannot give him pleasure, this Prabhupada translation. Without? Oh. Without Radha. Okay, okay, I understand now, this is, this is, uh, two buses. One is yes. 217. Yes. And another one is 218. This Acha, the one is wrong in the in the text. Yes, one is wrong. Make it right. Mm. 227 and 218. Yes. Good. So two one two one two one seven translation. Uh, okay. All the go all the other gopi help increase the joy of Krishna's pastime with Radharan. The gopi acts as the instruments of they are mutual enjoyment. This is 17. 217. 217. Acha, two, yes. Yeah, 218. Radha is beloved consort of Krishna, and she is the wealth of his life. Without her, the gopis cannot give him pleasure. Jai. This is also Manjari Bhakti. What good if again Manjari? I didn't get the last word. You see, Manjari Bhav confirmation. Confirmation yes. of Manjari Bhav. Gopi cannot give the pleasure without Radhika. Yes. This is Manjari Bhav. That's right. 
because Manjari is always same as Radharani. Radharani and Manjari is always cooperate. Manjari's intention is like a shadow of Radha and same as Radha's intention or more <laughs> one sense because Manjari tried to uh, serve Radha to, to join and meet with Krishna. And uh, Manjari fulfills the desire of Radharani. So that therefore Gurudev is saying is <laughs> quite <laughs> interesting and correct. Yes, and all the gopi, uh, all the boundaries, especially are all the moods of, of Radhika. How to serve? They are manifestations of her desire to serve. She is the origin. Yes, sir. But they cannot give pleasure like Radhika. That the service is one thing, but giving pleasure to Krishna is what. So Gopi cannot give the pleasure, they can serve, but they cannot give that pleasure what Radhika can give. In Mahabhava stage. So Gopi also want to serve to Radhika. And this want to serve to Radhika is Manjari now. Want to serve Krishna is Sakhi Bhav. But want to serve to Radhika is become Manjari. Right. That's why we have to check if we are still the Krishna Dasi or Radhika Dasi. <laughs> I say that Krishna Bhakta Hoy Baro Chatur. So Acharyas are very Chatur. They give Clever. Huh? Clever. Chatur. Chatur Vida. Shri Bhagavad Because they give the hint and say to check yourself where you are. Check yourself where you are. Check yourself where you are. What you are practicing. Mercy. These are the mercy of Mahajans. Prabhupada mercy. Narayan Maharaj mercy. Anandas Bhavati Masi, all they make the crystal clear to my life how to move it. Mm, you make it crystal clear to us, Gurudev. <laughs> mm. Because depends, just by reading, depends. we. It huh? depends. You complete, then I will say one line. I'm complete, Gurdiv. So it depends upon the audience. Shiva has also very great preacher, but he has also audience. He cannot say, but he knows about Radhika. Sukhdev is the parrot of Radhika, but his audience was Rishi, Mahasi, and moving for liberation. He is not, they are not, audience are not ready to listen. But, Suniti, you have audience, we all are ready to listen to you. <laughs> you make me this laugh. This is the beauty of your audience. No, no, Gurudev, I see different. <laughs> 
although I'm a fool, you are giving me this nectar. So no, you don't differentiate. <laughs> oh, my dear. We are feeling fortunate in, in your preaching and we are your audience. <laughs> really? You make me really laugh now, Gurudev. <laughs> no, serious, I say you. We are lucky. You are opening us. Bringing details to understand. Right, Kananda Maharaj? Yes, yes. <laughs> ask so, to all devotees. You want I, to ask some questions now? No, for I want to ask. I'm, you agree with me? So nice subject. Suniti, select. Um, ich habe eine kleine Anmerkung, Suniti. Oh, she yeah. has some, some question, yes? Uh, durch, 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 durch Suniti, uh, die hat mich auf dem Findorf so untergehakt, unterm Arm und hat mich einfach so mitgenommen, hat gesagt, komm, wir gehen zu Gurudev und singen. Und zack, hatte ich den Namen. Ne? Das habe ich Suniti <lacht> zu verdanken. <lacht> <lacht> das war, ich hätte nicht den Mut gehabt, wir waren ja da eine andere Gruppe, und alles schön und nice, aber Suniti hat mich richtig gepackt, tief im Herzen. <lacht> <lacht> <Hey>. <lacht> Danke, Rade Rade. I also not no German, but I also feel you are <lacht> right. She has the power to give. <lacht> Real clear understanding to us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you, you she, <laughs> yes, go Pinan. Yeah, rather she's saying, uh, Rajeshwari, that Suniti touched her so deep in the heart and just took her and brought her to you, and she got the name. And she's so thankful to Suniti that she has come in her life and she just took her to, to you. I am also very thankful to Suniti. <laughs> Stop it now. Let's think I'm about the Vila Kushmit. You see, all are thankful. <laughs> he has a, some power inside by grace of Prabhupada that she has a Shakti. When I'm in your good association, Gurudev, then I, I can do some service, I can aspire. That is your mercy. Yeah. Day. Yeah. So these are all glorifications of the extraordinary good fortune of Raseshwari, Sri Radha. Yeah, I got the Prabhupada Mala. Oh, Jai! <laughs> One devotee from Croatia brings this Prabhupada. Yeah, he also blessed me, you see. Wow. Eternity Association, you see, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Prabhupada. Some, last time I go in, some instruction coming. Last day, Carla, I don't know who tell me, something happened. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. These are all glorifications of the extraordinary good fortune of Rajeshwari Shri Radha. Subhage can also mean Sundari. Raghunath calls her Subhage when he sees 
her endless Rupa Lavanya, her indescribable, subtle beauty shining out through the physical appearance. Wow. Each time Tulasi places a decoration, Shringar, on Swamini's limbs, it is as if she brings Shama Sundara, who is Shringara Ras, a Morris love personified before her in his very own form. Yes, this is a very important subject that you always good if you explain to us that putting, when the Manjuris put the Shringa, the, the decoration on Shrimati Radhika's limbs, on all her Angas, then it is as if they put Krishna there because he is the personification of Shringararas, of this highest spiritual amorous love. Yeah. In his very own form. So you always explain to us, Gurudev, and I think it's beyond the um, human perception actually. But it's a nice uh, meditation, at least for me, that any kind of ring, any kind of arm, arm, um, um, armlet, angada, any kind of uh, ornament is, she feels as if Krishna is touching her body. Krishna is in this singhar here. In the, yes. And whole day she is keeping it. <laughs> because Krishna is here with every every limbs in every part of the body and her meditation in this singer only for Krishna. That is the singer. And so, can helping? we say yes, Kunde? Who is helping to do? Mandiri. Who knows the feeling of Rasi? They are fortunate Dasis who are only thinking how to make happy to her. And she cannot be happy without it. And when she see in all my limbs, my earrings is Krishna, my hair they decorate and put is Krishna ring, nose ring is Krishna. All the parts of her limb is in Krishna Mai. There is no diff. She no miss her. Our Acharya say, Invira is more deep rasa. So this Invira, she is in meeting with Krishna, with our Singharas. Mm. When she is in separation with Krishna, all the ornaments are Krishna and she is meeting with Krishna in her ornamentation ceremony. And the Manjaris, they do it, Gurudev. They 
they make her meet Krishna in all activities. So who can be fortunate like that to feel like that? Like Prabhupada must be in the form of Godness. It's Prabhupada's blessing. Yes. That blessing, that meetings is really their mercy is means that is it they are there. Prabhupada is himself he like that we are sharing this. Proud that we have an audience. When he wanted to say there was no audience. So he has to inspire us to share that. This is all his mercy. It's not our words, it's all Acharya's mercy. We are never qualified and we cannot be a qualified without their mercy. We are a student and we will live like a student our life. This is more receiving their mercy. That is the real fortune. Total center of them. Mercy must surrender to them. Sri Radha. Radha Radha Gurudev. Radha Radha. I can see how Prabhupada is embracing you through this garland, yeah. kissing yeah. you, touching you. The Christian liberty, he brings this. Nita Doya, maybe is there. Yes, I want to show up. Yes, please. Hare Krishna. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, Nita Doya. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. I must give garland for Maharaj because I have some instruction. Okay. Must give garland for him. Okay. You are embracing each other from Gurudev. Yeah. Yeah, you are accepting with full heart. So it means that you are embracing Prabhupada and giving him embrace back. All the senses through this garland are fulfilled. I remember that day when my Guru Dev, he is a Babaji, right? And he said, go and meet Prabhupada and take blessing from him. When I say there's some surprise, but this was the reality in my life. This is the Masya, Radha Govindas Babaji Maharaj, to me. And I traveled 21 years. Uh, 20, 21 years, and from 95 onwards, 
and where I go in the temple of Prabhu, any Prabhupada temple, I get sure prasad and all blessing from all Vaishnavas from any place. I have no problem. I surprise. Like he is directly instructing to some devotee, arrange everything for this. Because of, I'm living in Vrindavan, I know this, this prasad is, when comes to you, is in the form of mercy. They send mercy through the prasad, that you more satisfied that I am with you, my blessing. What is this? Is a prasad, not there. Yeah, it's a shringa. Yeah. See that. Eh? Please. Subhage can also mean Sundari. Raghunath calls her Subhage when he sees her endless Rupa Lavanya, the indescribable, subtle beauty shining out through the physical appearance. What is that Sundari, you know? Suhage, I was very surprised how my Swami is Suhage. Suhage is a Krishna, has to be, that he gets the Radhika. This comes for him, but now it becomes clear to me. She is the Suhage when Krishna comes in the form of Singar to him, that makes him Subhage. All the Singar on her body and Krishna is there in that Singar, that thinking of that is a Subhage, that the mind is only seeing Krishna every place. That is the Subhage can do. That is the Sundar, highest Sundar. That she is not alone feeling herself with that singer. She is not separated with Krishna. Krishna is in the form of all decoration of her. Ati Sundar means this is the unexpected good fortune. Unexpected realization to the devotee. The devotee realized is also unexpected, beautiful. Right, Yananda Maharaj? Yes, Gurudev. Say something, So, Gurudev is amazing. All singara, all ornament is Krishna. But also, I was, you know, feeling because uh, all ornaments, reflecting many colors so Lada uh, so Lada was seeing something you know blackish or something 
you know, green or something, something, you know, little bit blackish or even shining, remember Krishna. Also, I was thinking, sometimes Krishna does in Shringara for Radha, like, uh, you know, Shringara but, but near Yamuna. So Krishna was, was, you know, like Radha was learning from Rasadira. So Krishna was looking for Radha. So sometimes Krishna find out Radha. And then Krishna start decorating Sri Radha. So Radha also remembering this kind of pastime. Oh, Shama Sundara, touch my, my, you know, my, my hair. Oh, Shama Sundara, touch my, you know, earring, you know, some, some part of body. So Srimati was remembering this pastime also. And then that touch of Torashi Manjari is the same touch as Krishna. Uh -huh. Then, the you beauty know, of the manjari, my dear, when the manjari touch, the touch will give the Krishna touch. That yes. Is. So then, you know, Radha was, you know, completely observing, oh, Krishna's touching my, you know, Krishna touching my body, oh, Krishna touching my hair, you know, like kind of these kind of meditation always going on in in, in Radha's mind. Uh, that I felt <laughs> listening uh, in a yeah. words and the Guru Dev's words. <laughs> this in German, Mundava. <laughs> is right pronunciation. Mundaval. Yes, good if you are the real gem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on. Each time Tulasi places a decoration on Swamini's limbs or body, it is as if she brings Shama Sundara, who is Sringara Rasa, amorous love personified before her in his very own form. You see? In the massage, in the putting the ornaments, massaging them, decorating singarita. The feelings of Krishna Manjari is big. How, how devotion. And this increases Radhika's sweetness without limit. <laughs> Why, Gurudev? Because now she is with him. Yeah. She forget that Manjari is there or anything. She takes Krishna Mai. She is always Krishna is there. Only Krishna is she. Now Krishna is with her. Now, now Manjari become Krishna. <laughs> no, Manjari is giving feeling. She forget Manjari. Who decorate she forget. She feel by touch. Krishna is touching her. When she decorates, she see like this. 
Sri Sri Yogi Krishna. She had the, in this Mahabhava stage she comes. And that is her sweetness. And if you want to see the more sweetness, when this exchange, the loving exchange, only Manjari Bhav can see that. This is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Line. Nowhere you can find it. Because Manjari Bhav is the sadhana of Avideha. In your Sarupavesh, means Prabhupada always says soul and constitutional position. Soul has a constitutional position that to practice is a Manjari Bhav. Page 4, introduction, he writes, by devotion, why we do devotion? Devotional practice bring me in that sarup, means in the, that mellow of Radha Dasi, that become myself. And then sarup means when we go on and on in the service, then we got some perfection to live in a style of that is Sarup Siddhi. Today, I want to share something. Yes, Gaura Chandra, I want to share. Listen. In the morning, they listen. They listen. We are reading right now the Sri Shikshastakam with the comments of Anantara's Babaji Maharaj. And we, today in the morning, we approach the verse number seven. And Ananda Das Bhavaji beginning that Mahaprabhu now enters the stage of Mahabhava. And also union and separation <clears throat> is discussed. And he says that separation is more relishable and when we see that the manjari is decorating radharani mostly in preparation for meeting so in separation they decorate and radharani she with every ornament she get the feeling of krishna on her body and Rupa Goswami, he writing something very special in his Patyavali, Anantadas Babaji is quoting there. And this very interesting point. Sri Radhika said, When I consider the difference between union and separation, I think that separation is better. When I am together with Krishna, I see him only at one place. But when he is away from me, 
I see all the three worlds filled with him. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. The stage of Mahabhav, Mahaprabhu now is this. You see, Jananda Maharaj, your new Japanese style. Amazing, very beautiful explanation. <laughs> Again, it. Sri Radhika said, When I consider the difference between union and separation, I think that separation is better. When I am together with Krishna, I see him only at one place. But when he is away from me, I see all the three worlds filled with him. So the Mahajans sing as follows about Radharani's natural Rupa Lavanya, her shining through her physical appearance. Behold, behold, just look at the endless beauty of Radha. Which creator has brought this amazing essence of Lavanya to the surface of the earth? When Cupid sees her limbs, he faints and falls down in a very unsteady consciousness. Indeed, she can agitate even millions of cupids. I have seen this myself on this earth. This natural lavanya beauty is again colored by Krishna Anubhav the Krishna experience. Therefore, Sri Radhika is named Subhage. This is the devotional service of ecstatic love personified. Good if I have one uh, one thing came into my mind reading this. Maybe you can clarify. Because she, she always has this experience that Krishna is there. So Krishna is there because when she is experiencing him, Krishna must be there, right, Good if. Right. Right. Yeah, he is there. Uh, uh. This is the devotional service of ecstatic love personified. Yeah. There's union and separation, and separation and union. Yes, this is such a big mystery of their love and their exchange. Yeah. She, it is as if 
Raghunath Das is standing directly in the Rasa Stali, in the place of their dancing. And that is how vivid his visions are. They are very alive. When the devotee becomes advanced in Smaran, means in remembering all these pastimes and leelas and connecting to them, he no longer thinks, I am doing Smaran. Yeah. Oh. The devotee feels as if he is directly experiencing the leelas in transcendental revelations. Yeah. One is thinking that I think this and it's happening, other is happening and you are watching. When you are watching, you are, you are, you are not a doer. As Maran, you have to do to bring mind out from other thinking to this thinking. Viewers are there still. But when you come in the position of viewer, then you nothing do. That is Rasada. And that Rasadarsana is set maybe seventh or sixth effort of Rasadarsana. Sixth or seventh. Huh? Jananda Maharaj is the sixth or seventh. <laughs> yes. Seven. When you are not a, even a smaram, you're not thinking it's happening. One is chanting and one to chant, I chant, and if second is happening, you only watch word and you can watch the name is going on. This is Ananda, but that's what you say. This is a dear Samadhi. <laughs> that's happening. In your yoga also say, one you meditate and when you come to the stage of Ajapaja, means when you have nothing to do, only to watch, is going on. So, when the devotees become advanced in smaran, in remembering, he no longer thinks, I am doing smaran. He feels as if he is directly experiencing the leelas in transcendental revelations. See that. <laughs> See, this is the meaning. So, Gurudev, when the revelations are not stopping, then it is Amadi, right? Yeah. He is sitting in noisy place, hides a mountain, no meaning for 
any place, anywhere. He's fixed. That was happening to you, Gurudev, when you when your family was bringing to you to the uh, cinema, to the theater in Mathura. <laughs> right? That, and you were only seeing Radha and Krishna and crying. That, that was the mercy. When you could find you, mercy from Gurudev in your sarup, then what you would see in your sarup always. But Sarup always you can see. It was mercy of my Gurudev that he gave so much mercy that my Sarup always is fixed. And when the, my Sarup always fixed, then I become useless. <laughs> When I, your Swarupa wish is fixed, you become useless for this world, Gurudev. <laughs> what I can do. And when I'm in Sadak there, I'm a normal person like all everyone. And that is a pain too. Then I feel all pains and trouble. Have this happening when it happens and when it comes, bring out to me is not in my hand. <coughs> then I don't want to relate anything. But it happens only by grace. Is not my efforts by this. Guru Sadhu Vaishnava Masi can do this. When the aspirants have a little of such experience within their minds, little such experience, little such experience, not full experience, little such experience. And this test is so highest. That other taste is no taste. <clears throat> when somebody has a little of such experience within their minds, they think, I have gotten a response, I've gotten an answer, but that is not so. The great Acharyas had experience and they also preached. The wise Rasikas are most attracted to the sweet and lovely prayers that emanated from Sri Raghunatha Asas Goswami's pen and that are the testimonies of his ecstatic experiences. Good, if I don't understand this one sentence, maybe you can clear this first sentence. When the aspirants have such a small experience within their mind, they think, I have gotten a response, 
but that is not so. Respond means realization. Mm. Mm-hmm. Respond means you visualize the screen and looking yourself without trying to do that. This experience. <laughs> Achha. Is surprising or not? You know, try to meditate, to go in dhana and samadhi and this, it happens to you. When this happened to you, other thing will, you will not like anything. It's really happened in your life. That is the, after that you do everything but in samadhi stage. You live in the, till the, is not finishing it from you, you are in Samadhi, you do everything like a normal, but you are not doing anything. You are not out in your senses, body and false ego influence. I have a three-time realization of this, but it comes and if you not do any mistake in life, then you can stay. Uh, you will lose it after six months, one year, three months, how much you have to put in. You can resist, you can live in that ecstasy and you can lose it. It was a very long time to me. Small, small happen and go, but it was still a long time, minimum six months. My life. In the 70s, I said, So it is something that is given, Gurudev. It's not that you pray and then comes an answer like your prayers have been heard, but it just it's like completely mercy. wipes you out, right? It must. Mm-hmm. It's not my efforts. Netta Siddha, Krishna Prem. Sadhaka Munai. There is no sadhana prescribed for that. Suddha Chit, the moment your chitta becomes pure, only by Savanadi, your Udaya, like a sunrise, like this, you are there. Through constant meditation, the heart becomes ripe. Yeah. And then constant. constant. When the constant Practice is not there, it's not right. Mm. Like me. <laughs> not like, right. 
me it's like fine. all of us would if you are there. No, I say reality. I'm not lying. <laughs> lying to you, lying to the, my Swami. Constant it has to be there. I'm honest. Constant is not there. Anushila Nam, right, Gurudev? I know more English word is constant. <laughs> I understand this very clear. Uninterrupted. <laughs> that might, that is not there. I need constant. Give us it all of you. It should be constant. By doing and doing Prabhupada word, doing and doing devotional practice, you will know your sarup, okay? I know my sarup. But by doing constantly, you will get the perfection. That is missing point. Through constant meditation, the heart becomes ripe. Yeah. And then the transcendental revelations come that save the aspirants' lives. See that? This point I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> Engrossment in the material world will lessen and attachments to sense objects will vanish. Uh, you see? Gradually, yes, Gurudev. This is which called Prabhupada. Bhagavad Gita. By drum, I am telling you, <laughs> if we do this, we don't need to do anything. If you are doing it, not believe these lines. You no need to do. Today I discussed, after reading Chista Stakam, I said, Gaurachandra said, Thus, the way is love, and good is also love. I said, Gaurachandra, when the way is also love, and God, God is also love, then why we waste time in other subjects? Why we want to know about many details? Same, the question. My question is this, why to waste the time? The way is, is love and good is also love. Then why we want to waste time in other subjects? Because we are not in love, Gurudev. That is the point. When we understand this way is love, God is love, we don't need to do other subjects. And, and also, Gurudev, when we waste the time, we cannot be constant. No, constant is not will really happen. Way is a love and God is a love. When the goal is a God, then it's okay. But where is the love and goal is love? 
when this become clear then where is other out of nitai and god same prem data nitai ko re is na god is na Yeah. Any other than this, like you have a manjari bhav, out of manjari bhav, anything thinking. is not my subject what a why i talk on basali rasa ya sakrasa and why i want to know that is not my subject the way is love and goal is love then out of this there is no my subject if other than this subject is any then i am not fixed in this means what you say in this word constant we are not constant to practice in this one pointed many pointed is not going to give anything in our life hmm. Our morning class, we are three person, three musketeers. <laughs> we are sitting, Gaura Chandra, Raghunath Baba, and I. Nobody interested to come that time. Rasa Madhuri, Rasa Madhuri, half three, <laughs> three and a half. <laughs> so that's three and a half person we are here. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry, sorry. Three and a half months that we are there. Half I say because after that, Gora Chandra has to give two hours time with her to explain more details, and she is Japanese, so she note note down everything. And she asks one by one question to know every details, and he has to answer. <laughs> she goes in the subject seriously. Is not from outside. Okay, I listen and done. She goes details in the subject. So what happens in the morning, Guru Dev? <laughs> Three and half person are here, and then mad. <laughs> Very young. All day was doing that. Something come and we throw all day that. <laughs> If no flow, then how it's remembering? How we keep it on? We are floating on that. Ah, then. So, what are you floating in this morning, Guru Dev? And now, whole day. He is there now. He is there now. You don't want to share? Oh, about the Shikshasta Kam seventh verse, Mahabhav. Yeah, Viraha is more beautiful than Mid Milan. <laughs> ah, okay. Meeting uh, separation <laughs> feelings is more beautiful <laughs> than meeting. <laughs> 
Krishna words come is from coming from the Radhika's mouth. And we will see is looking and we when we deny to understand Radha, then we don't understand Krishna. It's all Radhika word Krishna is coming. Radhika is looking Krishna. When Krishna word comes, means it comes from Radhika's. When the Bal Bhav is coming, it comes from Mother Jasuna. Friendly words coming, it's coming from the friends. From Supal. Many friends where you ruchi test, then relishment will grow. I said. Krishna shelter, what Krishna shelter? Krishna is the goal, not a shelter point. Krishna shelter means hint, Mahajan's giving, take the center of Ashra Tattva and then understand Krishna. That's the only way to to know and to follow the lovers. That is Raghavakti. That is Raghavakti. When you understand Ashra and Vise is not a Brahmagyani word. Brahmagyani means mm -hmm. one. When you will make two, then you will rush, you will realize. When you will make so hum, Brahma Gyan, then you will not understand. Rag, what he say? He say one is a goal, one is a certain. See through certain to the goal. Is a rag of a thing. And one point more I had. Mahaprabhu come and he said, shelter and goal is one. And that is Radha. My shelter is Radha. And the goal of Krishna is also Radha. Krishna become Radha, Mahaprabhu. And Krishna took this mood of Radha and cover himself that my goal is Radha, Ashra is Radha, and my goal is Radhika, not Krishna. And the inside sitting Krishna talking. Krishna himself saying this. If I love Krishna, I have to understand this. If I don't love Krishna, how I will understand? How I will listen his words? But Rasik, Mahajans, they listen. And they do it. But Gurudev, you have to say also that this is only in Manjari Bhav that Ashra and Visha is one. Up to Sati Bhav, Ashra and Visha is still different. You see, my God, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Puno took the shelter of Chaitanya and he wants to be Saki, then it's okay. Right, Gaurachandra? Puno <laughs> <laughs> yes. took the shelter of Gauranga, like in Nimarga and other lines, then they have a Saki vow, is 
Right, right. Mm. And when you took the shelter of Gauranga, how you think on that? Then you don't believe Gauranga, right? You can say like this or not. Yeah. Maybe then the subject is not clear. Maybe that is clear. Come and say. No, no, no. <laughs> it's only not to say that they not follow Mahaprabhu. Subject is not clear. Maybe. Subject is not clear. 